Hello, Paul Ellis from the Rick Group here, and I want to show you our SBO for PDA add-on today for SAP, which is a certified WMS. What I'm going to show you is how the batch picking works. So let's go into SAP. Firstly, I'm going to create a sales order. And note that this is actually against SAP 9.1, so it's the latest version of SAP Business One. Then I'm going to create, look up the item, which is the batch item. And in the demonstration database, it's the print label, so I'm going to select that. And what I'm going to do is select two. So you'll see now that we've got an item here of two. This is actually a batch item, so when I click into it, you'll see that it's tracked by batch and it's on every transaction and it, I'm going to show you how our SBA for PDA program works when you have batch tracking uh, on the way out for sales order picking. So firstly I create that sales order. We can have a look at that sales order. Then I'm going to go to pick and pack manager, infantry, pick and pack, pick and pack manager. 9.1 there's a number of new options such as production orders, reserve invoices, infantry transfer requests. The SBA for PDA program works with all of these options. When I click OK, what I'm going to do is select sales order 408 and I'm going to say release to pick. When I release to pick, SAP is going to ask me to select the batches or pre-allocate the batches. For this example, I'm going to auto select. And we can see that it's auto selected the top batch first in first out type scenario B100067 selected quantity 2. So I'm going to update that OK and then I'm going to release that to pick list and we can go through the pick list generation wizard because I have multiple bins turned on for the 9.1 database. Notice that we can split the pick lists by a number of different options now. We all can also use different allocation orders such as FIFO and LIFO and also bin location order. The SBA for PDA program works with all of these options. And then I'm going to generate the pick list. When I go into released, you'll see that pick number 37 has been generated. I'm going to go to the PDA product, SBA for PDA. Notice that I'm um, logged in as well by on Jason Butler, who's also a user in SAP Business One. So all the sales orders that I pick will be tracked by the username that's in SAP click on sales, go to pick and pack, we'll look up SAP wirelessly, notice that the pick ID 37 is there, I could scan the pick ID 37 if it was on a pick list or I could enter it in and click on start, the PDA will go and look up SAP and do a direct query with the SAP database for the sales order lines. So I've got my bin location it's automatically been updated onto the PDA. I have my release quantity of two and I have my item code. When I go into quantity pack, note there's my batch that I need to pick. I can also update the expiry date as well if the expiry date uh, needs to be updated for the item. If I was to scan the item, the quantity picked will increment one, two, three, four. We also allow for unit of measures, different unit of measures, so if you need to pack uh, cartons or scan cartons, you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is say, that's the batch I'm picking, quantity is 2, and update, and notice that I've got 2, it's updated, and also I'm picking from the bin code that's been allocated for me as well. Click on save, released, quantity is 2, pick quantities too. I'm going to close the box because I'm going to print a delivery label and then I'm going to complete. And then it will go and send the information back to SAP directly. So if I go back into SAP, look at the pick and pack manager, you'll see that there's no pick ID 37 anymore. So if I go back to the sales order, use the relationship map, open up the delivery document, you'll see that this 2 has been picked and the delivery order has been created automatically. If I look at the bin location, you'll see that this 2 has come out, minus 2 for the bin location, and then what I can do is go to 
the batch number transactions report and you'll see that two have come out for this batch which was the B100067. Click on OK. If I was actually to do a couple of reports as well, preview the reports, you'll see that we've created the delivery note, the packages content and the batch report documents all being created through SAP. The third thing from here is we've got a packing slip. So when we go into the packing slip, what we've done is when we've closed the box, we've packed those items in toolbox, we've created a delivery label, we've actually passed through a SSCC number as well, which is a serialized number. So all the box or boxes or cartons can be tracked. And we've got what's been packed into that box. So that's how the batch picking works using SBA for PDA. It's all integrated through the API to SAP Business One. And as mentioned previously, it's certified as well. It all runs via a Windows service. So Windows service is talking to the API directly. At the RIC Group, we've been working in the supply chain industry for 14 years now. We have the functions of scan, pick and pack, barcoding, goods receiving, stock transfers, stock taking, and much more. We also have integration in Australia with eParcel, Toll Group, and Star Trek integration. You can go to our website, therickgroup.com.au, call us on the phone number, or feel free to email us at sales at the ricgroup.com. Appreciate your time.